In this video, we're going to see how we can retrieve an item from a list using Python. So let's imagine that I have a company full of people like Julia, Eric, and Dylan. And what I would like to do is to retrieve just one person from this particular company. Maybe what I would like to do um, is retrieve only Eric. I can do this if I know Eric's position by adding an open and a closed square bracket at the end of the name of this object. Inside of this open and closed square bracket, I'm going to put an integer representing the location of Eric inside of my company. What I'm asking Python for here is whatever data is inside of the company object in position one. And when I evaluate this, we will see that Python returns Eric to us. Now, in some situations, I might want to retrieve data from my object while also removing it from my object at the same time. So maybe I am pulling Eric out of my company uh, because I would like to do something with him. Maybe he's been hired by a competitor. In this case, I can use the pop method of a list in Python to both remove and retrieve the data in position one. We see that this is still returning Eric to us, but when I look inside of my company list, my company no longer has Eric inside of it. Now, in the same way that when I appended data to a list, it was fastest to insert those new data from the end, it is also going to be fastest to remove data from the very last position inside of a company. So when you can, it's wise to structure your Python programs such that you are popping data from the last position.